them. Mr. Munjal, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Mr. Munjal, Corporate India has managed to really uh, navigate the COVID storm. The Indian economy has been a survivor. We've revived in last 12 months. What can the budget do so that from revive, we can move to thrive? All right. Um, let's start with the economy, how to take the economy to an accelerated path. I firmly believe that the government should focus on improving demand in the economy. Demand right now, as we all know, is at a very low. Having gone through these close to two years of the pandemic, things are really down in almost every sector. The budget should focus on prioritizing infrastructure-led capex to facilitate broad-based recovery. Some of the other growth-inducing measures that the budget could consider relate to front-loading fund transfer to the states for capex and a push towards affordable and rental housing. Government already has programs around housing, affordable housing. Now is the time to give it a big push. An impetus should be given to improving ease of doing business once again and reducing cost of doing business. Costs have really gone up in these recent times. We have to improve consumption demand by steps such as augmenting rural income through increased allocation on, on Manrega, rural infrastructure creation, etc. Focus on improving the health infrastructure and subsidized credit to SMEs and contact intensive sectors is really, really important. We all know how people are having to spend on health, especially in the rural sectors. People didn't plan for all these expenditures on health and their balance sheets are really, really going bad. Further, incentivize to promote exports and attracting domestic and foreign investments through a stable and predictable tax regime and continuity in policy. I stress on continuity in policy should be the hallmark of this budget. In fact, my personal belief is that the budget should be a long-term budget where we know what is coming in the next year, what is coming in the third year and in the fifth year. There should not be breaks and quick changes in the budget, which then don't give a lot of incentive, especially to investment coming from abroad. Point taken. We also have Sanjeev Mehta, President Fiki and Chairman Managing Director HUL joining in. Mr. Mehta, going to come to you in just a moment. But Mr. Munjal, I just wanted to talk a little bit about expectations of going electric. When it comes to mobility, do you think that India has that expectation that's high on the radar? Absolutely, for sure we do. With the economy on the road to recovery, this is the right time to focus on sustainability and climate change. And we know how focused, how keen our prime minister is on this very topic. He's been making statements and commitments on behalf of the nation at various fora. And also him having led ISA, then talked about the, the green hydrogen from uh, on, on 15th of August. I believe the, the entire nation has to back all that up. The budget should bring out a policy framework for transitioning towards decarbonization, wherein high taxation could be considered for high carbon products and vice versa. Industry must be incentivized to transition to low carbon products. Production of renewable energy products should be rewarded. Today, there are a lot of hindrances. Many of the renewable energy companies are going through a tough time. To develop hydrogen as an alternative fuel 
companies should be provided with investment allowances for investing in installing electrolyzers in their plants, et cetera, et cetera. And I do believe we must have a mission behind hydrogen. A central agency should be dedicated to look at a roadmap for the adoption, financing, and creation of clean technologies. For instance, the purchase of green assets and electric vehicles should be brought under priority sector lending. Again, CII has already proposed the mission on hydrogen in the country. And also, I personally believe there must be a mission behind electric vehicles. We've already started moving towards electric vehicles to speed up this entire transition, this entire change to build the infrastructure. There has to be a focused and a concerted effort behind this.